starting at one of our core dashboards. I'm going to jump right inside our little config, our little menu on the, on the left hand side. Go right away and click on incidents. Incidents show all of the alerts that have been generated within Logpoint. You can see there's a risk level on the left hand side, low, medium, high or critical. And you can see all of these alerts or incidents, right? It's considered an incident. An alert is send you an email, send you a page, go and raise a higher level sort of um, thing for you to actually perform on. Other than that, within Logpoint, it is an incident. So I'm going to search on top here. We're going to filter out everything with the name high in it. Here's the one I'm looking at, high outbound traffic from an unusual source. Okay, let's drill, the, drill down and break this open. First of all, it had a date and a time assigned to Logpoint. It is of the category exfiltration, T1567 exfiltration over web service. This actually comes from the MITRE ATT&CK framework. So I'm going to come and I'm going to drill into more detail later on. We have another section for that. You're going to see when I click this drop down, I can, I can resolve this. I can add a comment to it. I can view the data or I can view the incident data. So I can say here, um, looked into. So that's now looked into and I can go ahead and post that. Now, anybody who comes in after the fact can see that I've actually drilled into this. You can see I can look at the incident data. This is where Logpoint has actually applied a ginger template just to filter out a lot of the noise that makes it tough for more inexperienced users to look at. I have a source address, destination address, and a destination port. Super easy for me to go and analyze this to go and at least begin a, a light investigation on this. We can, however, jump right inside our data. When we click on our data, it drives us right inside the Logpoint search interface where I execute a search, a direct search you can see straight on top here. And I can see here that I've got the user Henry Ford and you know exactly what happened. I'd like to now go inside our knowledge base. Inside our knowledge base, we have alert rules. Just to show this, just to break it open a little bit, I have shown this before in a previous section that we came up to. So this is this is just more like a shorter kind of a like a like just just an overview. This is the alert: high outbound traffic from an unusual source. I click it. There is the search query. We saw the search query be executed when I executed that over. It has a little description: flash on trigger, valid for ten. Um, only for 10 minutes. When I move on, it's a T1567 exfiltration over web service mapped straight into the MITRE ATT&CK framework. So here's how we can actually prioritize. We can change the level of severity over this. This risk is now high. If I consider exfiltration, if I am a military organization or a government entity, a financial institution, institution, I cannot afford to have data leaving my company. Therefore, I may make this critical. It may, may be different in my environment on how we can control the priorities of these incidents, generate them, tie right into a different threat intelligence framework and get that executed.